Hi, I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV here in Round Rock, Texas. Today, I am gonna show you the 2020 Manus by Taxa Outdoors. Now, if you are looking for a rugged camper that is thoughtfully planned, built to last, and amazingly versatile, this one might be for you. This is the White Sand Special Edition. There's only 30 of them made, and it's actually signed by the designer, Garrett Finney. Now, the standard Mantis is gonna have a gray wall and tan canvas on the top. This trailer's 19 feet long. It's six foot 10 inches tall, and that is no accident. It fits in your garage. It weighs about 3,100 pounds, and that's with all the options I'm gonna show you today. It sleeps four, and it will cost approximately 38,000. Okay, well, we're gonna start inside and show you all of the stylish features and all of the functionality built into this trailer. Let's go. Oh, I love the feel. It, it just feels so open. Now, let's start right here at the door. You saw me come in to this screened piece with a zipper down the middle, and it is actually Velcroed all the way around. So it's so easy to take it on and off. I'll show you, you just unvelcro it all the way around and fold it up. Easy to add if you wanted to leave your door open and have a screen. All right, I'm gonna lay this right here on the countertop. Let's look up front. Now this actually can be a bunk or a sofa. Almost everything in a Mantis or any Taxa Outdoor product for that matter can, can serve multiple functions. When you're looking at a small space, you want everything to be as versatile as possible. So this can provide the backing for the sofa. It also can flip up and it becomes the upper bunk. You've got a net here that can hold more cargo or actually come down and clip up here to hold peep children or gear in this upper bunk. Drops right back down. You'll notice the powder coated frame is visible on the interior of this everywhere because you'll find straps, carabiners, bungees, different things that you can attach at any point along this frame. Lots of places to attach. You'll see another one right here, all along the edges. This powder coated steel frame can actually help you create whatever space you want in here. I love the tan interior. Now this is different than the standard Mantis. If it is not the special edition, the White Sands, then this is gonna be a gray tone. I love the tan in here. It gives it such a nice feel along with the white and then the, the kind of goldenrod color on the canvas. So the base of this sofa actually folds up to create more storage space up here. You may be carrying bikes or something like that. So all you need to do is flip this up and the strap with the carabiner is gonna clip on. I'm gonna clip it over here on the side holds it up and then you have all this space here. Now over here on the side, you've got more little cubbies. Storage you may have some special things that you can keep on the sides underneath that sofa. But again, lots of open space here if you need to bring some extra gear. Now what I'm sitting on right here is, it can be used as a countertop, but this has the optional toilet and shower in it. This flips right up out of the way and the cassette toilet right here with the shower handle just lifts up available right here for your shower and I'll show you on the outside how the cassette toilet pulls out the outside to be dumped uh, the cassette toilet is going to hold about four and a half gallons so it's going to work for a weekend just fine inside this pouch here is going to be the shower curtain and it simply attaches to these four pieces on the ceiling and you have a full shower curtain here. When you're done showering, 
let it dry, unclip it, put it back in the pouch, and you're able to close the top. Oh, what I didn't show you is when you open this, there is just a little slide piece right here. Now it's, it's a powder coated steel piece that just swivels down to hold that out of the way. Not a lot of plastic in here, not a lot of those little pieces that'll break, all those little latches on the drawers, things like that. This is such a durable design. This can fold down for a countertop. Now again, the toilet and the shower is optional. When you move over to the kitchen, you know, I love this birch panel design. It's clean, it's open, it's modular. So if the repairs need to be made, access is very easy. When you look down and you see these little uh, black attachments, they actually are just hand tight. You can unscrew them with your hand, take this panel off for access to any of the plumbing or any of the appliances under there and just screw them right back in. No tools needed. Awesome. All right, starting back up at the top, You've got some modular storage up here, uh, two bins on each side. Again, just easy to put the things up here that you need to store and access very easily. Right in this panel, they've got uh, the voltage on your battery. So we've got 13.7, so the battery's fully charged. Um, 12 volt plug and the 110 plug in case you're plugged into shore power. This is a very useful rig if you're not plugged into shore power. The only thing you need for shore power is going to be the 6,000 BTU air conditioner right here. Um, everything else besides the AC and of course the 110 household plugs is gonna work just great, including the Dometic refrigerator. We'll show you that in just a minute. They have a glass top sink and stove by Dometic, all one piece very clean look, uh, very easy to use as a countertop, but when you open it up, you have the two burners and the flip up faucet with a sink. Again, great versatile piece of equipment. Let's look down below. What you're looking at right here is fuses for all of the things that you have here. If you have um, lights, You've got some different light switches right here. Uh, this is gonna be your water pump. Uh, and again, another light right there. All of the fuses for these things are right in the front panel. Easy to access, just unscrew them with your fingers and pull it out. Um, this is the Truma Combi system. This is what provides hot water and heat. Uh, the Truma Combi is easy to use. Uh, I, you can just turn the dial and adjust it, different um, applications in here. Uh, so I love this system because it actually is hot water and heat all in one system. Now down below the storage system is actually milk crates. Why? They're versatile, uh, they're readily accessible, they're lightweight, they're easy to clean, and it's a great way to store the gear that you need and be able to grab it, take it outside to your picnic table. You can have your dishes, your food, whatever you need, and you can create an outdoor kitchen in no time. Of course, you know, you can use milk crates for anything, but the fact that they're lightweight, easy to move around, and easy to clean, I think it just makes a perfect solution. There's a bungee held across here and notice there's slats all the way down on both sides. Again, I think the design is to make it easy and versatile. So these bungees make it really easy and all you need to do is to give it a push, slide it down to the next slot and take it out. Once you've got everything back where it needs to be and you're ready to travel, that's when you put your bungee back in. Pretty simple, slide it up to the next slot, hook it in there, you're ready to travel. Again, you've got the venting down here. You're gonna have some, some uh, equipment underneath, very accessible with the hand locks. This piece right here is going to be the converter, breakers and fuses in here, and another access panel right next to that. 
a little storage here and right under here. A lot of places to put food, anything that you want to access easily. Across from the kitchen is another countertop space. You've got three more milk crates underneath and of course access to some of the, the appliances underneath. Um, this panel here in the back is going to have more fuses for the lights. It's going to have a, U, a 12 volt plug in and the USBs. So you can actually charge your laptop, any of your gear right here on the countertop. The switches in the back are going to be the LED lighting inside and out. I love the lighting in this because it is all LED, of course. You've got some recessed lighting on the top, in the back, on the edges, underneath the kitchen uh, storage. So none of it is actually one of those bright lights staring you in the eyes. It's all recessed LEDs. Great feeling when you're actually out camping and it's dark outside. You need to be able to see without being blinded. All those controls are right here. Um, now on this side, what we do have down here is the LP detector. Uh, again, it's always gonna be low, so you've got an LP and a carbon monoxide detector right here down low. I wanted to talk about this. A lot of people are worried about canvas. This is such a high grade material and I, I, when you put it down wet, it's not going to mildew. You do want to pop it up and let it dry just for, you know, keeping it clean. But we get that question all the time. Um, if you do happen to have a problem with it, it's very easy to replace. The way this is attached, it's all done underneath this rail on Velcro so it can come off and be put back on very easily. I love this color. It makes it really bright in here. Now, for those of you that have seen my videos, you know I'm five foot tall. Right here at the peak, you're actually 10 feet to the top. Okay, so behind this counter space is the 50 liter Dometic refrigerator. It is 12 volt, but it's very efficient. So you really don't have to worry about your batteries. Uh, you can actually set it to freeze or you can set it to just cool like a refrigerator. Underneath, there's some storage as well, a bin under there. Now, before we go to the back, let's talk about ventilation. Uh, when you have the top down, you have all of these windows. You've got three big ones here and two in the front. And these are dual paned windows, so they're very well insulated. And you can open them up, tighten them down. There is blackout shade from the top and the screen from the bottom. So they're very efficient, but when you open them up, great cross breeze. Once you pop the top open, you have four sides of screen. So it not only gives you more height, but a lot more ventilation. The interior of this really does feel like you're outside with a little bit of shade. It's really great. All right, so let's get this closed. And all you do is just lock it back up. You've got four handles on each one. You've also, on these, got a little slot outside the latch here where if you put this right in that slot, let me show you here, then these insulated windows actually stay closed, but you've got a little crack right here. So that's really nice if everything else is closed up and you just want a little bit of airflow in there. Otherwise, you want to be sure you go all the way in and uh, close these up tightly and you'll have a very well insulated camper here. All right. Um, remember, you can always keep this top closed. Of course, you won't be able to stand up in here, but you can get to the kitchen area. You can sit in the sofa and sit in the dinette. If for some reason the weather's bad or you're just stopping on the way, traveling, or for any other reason that you don't want to pop the top up. Speaking of that, before we move on to the back dining area, let me show you real quickly how easy it is to pop this up. So the height is about four foot 10. And when you want to pop up the top, 
The latch here has a little thumb release. Just push on the thumb release, lift it up, the hook is going to come off, and then you just give it a push. The gas props are going to help it open up all the way, and very simple. To put it down, you just reverse that. Grab the handle, give it a pull, and latch the two latches, and you're ready to go. Very simple. Again, I love to point out all of the powder coated frame, all the attachments. You really can attach so many places on this camper. Set up your gear the way you like it. Make this trailer what you need it to be. Let's look at the seating and the sleeping in the very back of this trailer. Now I'm sitting in the dinette in the very back of this Mantis. Now we call it a dinette, but I don't know. It's such a versatile space. You've got windows on all three sides. Now this hatch opens completely and I'll show you that in a minute, but I wanted to show you how much window space you have here. So you can have ventilation on all three sides. The recessed lighting on all three sides as well makes it plenty bright back here. Uh, everything has a dual purpose. The seating is made so the cushions and the base of it comes up some of it has gear attached on the back and storage bins underneath. Now underneath where I'm sitting is the table that actually can fit across here with the cushion and create a U-shaped dinette if you wanted to sit up to six people. The table, well we have storage for that too. That actually fits underneath the seat across from me. Now it's not in the way, it just fits nicely in a slot and is out of your way and it's still easy to get to the storage underneath uh, when you're not using it. So with the table set up and the U-shaped piece in the back, it's really easy to sit here with six people comfortably. I love the versatility of that. Again, there's storage under both pieces of the seating on the far side, same underneath this seating. And behind me, because this is a little deeper bench, we have two more cubbies with storage underneath them. Uh, this also is what makes the full-size sleeping. So put the table down here, drop the smaller piece behind it, lay out the cushions, and this makes a nice bed for two adults. I think I've showed you a lot of what's inside. What I'd like to do is take you outside and show you some of the great things out there. Let's go. Now the Inside of the door just reminds us that this is a powder coated steel frame. Again, places even on the inside of the door to hook things. When your door is open, you might want to hook a backpack, you know, rags to clean your feet. Who knows what you might need to hang here. I love the laser cut mantis right here. Let's take a quick minute. Taxa Outdoors is actually named for taxonomy. And that is basically naming things, uh, giving them scientific names for things in the outdoors. Uh, and, you know, their vehicles just seem to be named after the insects. Yeah, if you don't know much about Garrett Finney, who designs the Taxa Outdoor products, uh, take a look on their website. He's an architect, he is a NASA engineer, and that's why these are often referred to as habitats. But he really wanted it to have an outdoor theme to it, a base, and that is why it's called Tax Outdoors, and this one is the Mantis. All right, so another window right here in the door. The panels on the outside of this are actually aluminum panels with block foam in between. Very sturdy, very well insulated. Uh, you know, I know that Garrett is used to doing uh, NASA inspired uh, plant, uh, designs. And so I just like to show people the way this door closes. It doesn't sound like any other door in the RV industry. All right, even the hinges, what a great product. Let's move over here. There is a 12 volt hookup right here outside the door. This is the nameplate I told you about that is on the special editions. So because this is a white sand special edition, it has the, the special nameplate 
with Garrett Finney's signature on it. This has the optional eight foot awning on it. Comes out eight feet. It is a, a square awning, but it adds a little bit of cover for your outdoor space. Behind that, uh, it does come with the 15 inch off-road tires. You also get the full size spare that's mounted right underneath in the back. Stabilizing bars on all four corners. I kind of love the Mantis graphic here that runs along the center of it. LED light right there underneath the back of the awning. So your campsite on the outside has a little bit of light, nothing too bright, not staring you in the face, but does give you a little bit of light outdoors. Let's take a look at the back and I'm gonna show you some of the new features on the Mantis this year and the hatch. Laser cut tacks are right in the handle plate. I love that. All right, this is the hatch on the back door. It was closed when we were inside, but I love the way this opens up and you get full access to this dining area. I mean, you could crawl in and out here or you could simply have an outdoor kitchen set up out here and be able to put it on the table on the inside. Whatever works for you, but full access if you wanted it. Now on the side here, they have mounted some steel steps because, let me close this so you can see a little better, because right up here, and you've got handholds, you have a toolie rack. Now this toolie could hold uh, a rooftop tent where you could sleep two or three more people, or it could hold extra gear. You could put ice chests, you know, whatever extra things you needed, tie them to your toolie rack, or use any of the toolie accessories for bikes, anything like that. Now this trailer, as we move to the front, has a 20 gallon freshwater tank. It has a 22 gallon gray tank. So this is your water fill for the freshwater tank. You do have a plug here for a portable solar. If you wanted to use, say, a suitcase model or a Goal Zero panel, uh, very easy to just plug in here, set it out in the sun, and this is the venting on that 6000 BTU air conditioner. If you wanted to hook up to the hydrant, you have the hydrant plug right here, the 30 amp shore cord. Now there is hot water inside in the shower, of course, but there's also hot and cold outside. You can have a sprayer here. I use this to do dishes. Again, very versatile for anything you need or it also comes with a shower wand. So either one of these would work. It is a quick connect, just disconnect it, store it inside the trailer once you're ready to travel. This is the Trumacombi vent. It just, it's a very static vent right there. Now right underneath is the gray water drain for the 22 gallon tank. And it is actually threaded for a water hose. So you don't have to carry any of those three inch sewer hoses or anything. A water hose will do the job just fine. Just attach it right here and pull the slice valve. Behind that, this is where the cassette toilet is. Now, this is your black tank. It holds about four and a half gallons. Very easy to use. You just lift this out. You see it's got wheels on the bottom and I like to pull the handle out. You can actually wheel this to any dump site anywhere. You can also dump it in a toilet just like you're dumping a, a bucket of mop water or you can dump it at a dump site or take it home and dump it there. Uh, it's, it's very easy to use. I put my hand on the back, lock the handle and then just slide it right back in and it actually opens up the valve on its own. Very simple to use. The fresh water that you flush with is filled right up here and you actually have a fresh water uh, site right here so you can see how full it is. It's very simple to use and I think it is great for a camper like this that can really go off the grid for extended periods of time. Now on the front, they have the ABS rock guards right here. Great feature. Let's talk about the auto brake. This is gonna be different than you'll see on other trailers. This is coming with 
every tax of product. Um, it actually is a built-in brake control. Normally in the past, you have to do a brake control on your vehicle. This is an auto brake, which means it automatically brakes for you. And it comes with a key fob that you'll have in your vehicle uh, for access for a hand brake if you need it. It actually has an accelerometer in it. So as long as it has power from your vehicle, when you step on the brakes, it applies the brakes appropriately in the trailer. Great feature to have built in right to the trailer. All right, you'll recognize this as the double propane, the double five gallon, uh, your hand crank here for your jack. And again, you can see that it's got two front stabilizer jacks, two rear stabilizer jacks. And, you know, of course, with the powder coated steel frame, there's tie down points all over this trailer. All right, well, I think I've told you a lot about this Mantis trailer. I'm sure there's something I haven't gone over. So please comment below. We'll be glad to answer all of your questions. Again, this is the White Sands Special Edition. There are only 30 of them made, but the standard Mantis is gonna look very similar, just have a gray tone color with a beige canvas. I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV here in Round Rock, Texas. Please give us a call if you have questions, comment below, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you wanna see more videos. Thanks for watching, I will see you next time.